Hello everyone. So we are about to take a trip to Canada, New Brunswick area, and uh, with the camper. And uh, in preparation for that, this will be the first time that we've taken our kids outside the country. So um, we had to go through the process of getting the passports and everything for them. Um, and uh, there's some other documents and things, of course, we have to get in line for that. So um, one of the things I decided to look for was uh, a better way to organize all that than just kind of leaving it all thrown together in a Ziploc bag or something. So um, so I stumbled on this on Amazon. It's a Zoppin RFID travel wallet. Um, it's fairly big, as you can see uh, in my hand. So um, it will hold multiple passports and things, which is good for us. Um, has this little handle which I'll probably end up just taking off that will probably annoy me um, it is uh, this is the green and orange one um, this material is very um, uh, water resistant if it, according to what they say and what it feels like um, I wouldn't guarantee it if I dropped it in the pool to keep my documents dry but uh, necessarily but I do think it'll um, it'll at least keep rain and all off of them or if you drop it in a puddle it's not gonna totally destroy your documents. So, um, there's an outside pocket here that doesn't have any security um, as far as like being able to secure stuff in it. You just slide something in and it may fall out. But there's also one here that's um, a zipper pocket. So, um, and the zipper pocket would secure things. Then the inside is fully zippered so that the whole thing um, opens up. Um, and you can zip it closed. Um, of course, we have four people in the family, so I needed something big enough to hold four passports, and, and this proves that it could do it. Um, front pocket will hold one passport. It's pretty tight, so I don't think you can get more than one in there. The second pocket here obviously will hold the two passports, and then I have the other one in the back pocket, which actually is a long pocket, as you can see, uh, so it could hold bigger items as well. Um, but... Uh, um, place to put our pen, which I need to get one in here. I'm still working on filling out and putting all our information and stuff in here. Um, it's got a five areas here for um, credit cards, although I probably won't keep our credit cards in here, um, but I will probably put something in here like our uh, our medical cards, our health insurance cards, prescription card, you know, that kind of thing, car insurance uh, stuff uh, probably will get put in here. So it's easily accessible. Um, zipper pocket for the mesh here to put some other things in if you need it. Um, then there's this long zipper pocket here that runs the whole length. Uh, so it's pretty big. Uh, probably any type of um, larger documents that you can fold up in letter, like a letter, you know, into thirds. Uh, you could probably get that to squeeze in there. Um, so be, if you have to take birth certificates or something, probably be a good spot to put that. It is an RFID blocking wallet, so it's supposed to prevent um, that. Um, and it comes with a keychain here, which I probably actually might take off because I probably not use that. Um, won't be necessarily useful for us, but overall, it's a decent, decent sized. Um, and we'll see how it handles up on the trip. Um, but uh, like I said, I was mainly looking for something to store all of our documents together and at least something that would hold four passports. So uh, excited about that, that they all fit in there. 